Here are the three most devastating natural disasters in August due to climate change that you don't want to miss out on. Climate change is affecting us all, in one way or another. And these news will really show you how unfair it is when the least responsible for the carbon emissions are impacted the worst. It will also leave you with a feeling of hope as countries actually start collaborating to get through these natural disasters. Stick around to the end where we present solutions to how we all can collaborate and contribute to the fight against our common enemy, climate change. Welcome, you're tuning into A Better Future. Starting off in China, the world's largest supplier of solar panels, which has been impacted by a natural disaster in form of a severe heat wave. The weather stations have recorded the highest temperature ever and China is struggling to maintain their harvest, their livestock and power output. As the heat increases, drinking water is reduced and crops are damaged or die, which in turn can lead to famine and death of livestock. To mitigate this issue, China could start firing cloud seeding rockets which cause clouds to come down as rain. They also pump water from hydro reserves which results in less power generated by hydropower. The heat and drought also cause forest fires which impact resource generation and biodiversity. Our thoughts go to China, the world leader in solar panel production. Despite having issues on its own, China has sent aid in form of tents and money to Pakistan, which is experiencing massive floodings killing at least 1,000 people and affecting over 33 million people. China has sent 50,000 tarps, 29,000 tents and 50,000 blankets as well as $300,000. Furthermore, Canada has granted 5 million in funding to Pakistan to aid with humanitarian assistance. The torrential rains in Pakistan has washed away infrastructure such as roads and bridges as well as homes and crops. This has caused food prices to soar but also pressured Pakistani governments to consider importing food from their arch rival, India. Hopefully, battle axes can be buried and countries learn to appreciate one another in this crisis. What's incredibly unfair in this situation is the fact that Pakistanian people have among the lower carbon footprints in the world, yet is suffering the biggest consequences of climate change. Economists are estimating the cost of this flooding to so far have surpassed $10 billion. If you want to learn more about our carbon footprint and what we can do about it, check out this video here. A link is also in the description. We are with you Pakistan and we promise to do better. Before we get into the next natural disaster, if you got any value from this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Europe is also suffering from the wrath of climate change with the worst drought in at least 500 years. The heat and absence of water has decreased crop yields by an average of 15%, reduced power output of hydropower and also displaced thousands of people. Hundreds have also so far died due to heat-related deaths. Europe is now in a state of alert and warning and the country scrambled to fight this unfortunate situation. However, an interesting effect of this drought are the boats, the artifacts and the ruins being revealed as the water levels decrease. So with natural disasters in China, Pakistan and Europe, what can we do? We can learn and we can act on the sustainable development goals. Check out the link to this video in the description. We can also sign a petition to stop fossil fuel ads, which can decrease fossil fuel emissions just like bans of cigarette ads decreased cigarette use. And finally, to support our biggest carbon capture technology, we can visit apps such as Only One and Help the Ocean. By contributing to replanting and protecting the ocean, we can help the ocean recover and improve its ability to capture carbon dioxide from the air. That's it for today. We have given you the solutions. What will you take action on? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.